previously on Extreme One Chunk Varlamore Edition. We made much needed progress and got 15 crafting. A genie with a lamp and 15 crafting. And finish one of our chunk tasks of 65 fletching. We will hit 65 fletching. That is officially fletching completed. Welcome back to episode 8. Hope you enjoy the episode. Stick around to find out who won the bonds. And let's get cooking. Alright, so it looks like the store restocks in one minute. Now, I'm going to run out of run energy very, very quickly doing this. I'm a hoarder. I'm banking all of this, guys. I need the food. I want to bank it all. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just start going for it. I'm just going to go for everything. Because any XP is better than none. Alright, so... I don't know what I want to do, guys. I don't know what I want to do. Uh, an hour and a half. I'll see you guys at the end. See what we get. All right. We just got back from our maze random. Took an hour and a half. As you could tell, we're now 38 minutes overdue on the random. So that actually almost took an hour and 40 minutes. I have yet to look at the inventory. So let's take a look, see what we got. See if it was worth our time. Holy potions. Okay. That's pretty good. Um... I think 120 is, is about average, like on drop rate for these, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've done this, but let's see how many potions we got. We've got 15 strength, and we've got now 8 attack and 8 defense. That's actually going to be amazing if we roll. Uh, by the way, the, the strength is in the random tab because of J Dr. Jekyll. But if we roll this chunk, which has the giants here, hell giants. That's going to be really, really good for early levels. Yeah, not too bad. Um, we got some fire runes, air runes. Still don't have any mine runes, so we can't really do anything with it. A good amount of um, iron arrows and, and such. I think it was probably worth it. Definitely slow, but probably worth it. All right, and that is the first level of many. Level 59 cooking. So I just realized I never gave a, an update at the end of the fletching grind of our hours played we are sitting at eight days 12 hours uh probably minus three hours i would have to guess i'd say an hour and a half of that was sitting at the maze random and then the another hour and a half probably doing this cooking on and off um inefficiently so far so um yeah so somewhere probably around the eight hours eight, day, or eight days eight hours is my guess uh for where we ended the fletching total xp 5.2 mil and we are one level away from the total level and we'll hit that with 59 cooking eventually. That's a really good idea. I'm going to start buying bowls. I'll fill my inventory with food. And whatever's left when I come by here, I'll fill it with bowls. Because I'll need bowls for the tuna and sweet corn topping anyways to eventually put on potatoes. So this will uh, definitely help at least a long-term goal. So we'll do that instead of onions. All right. I don't know about anybody else, but I am sick and tired of these crappy randoms that do not... Help my account in the slightest, Jagex. Give me lamps, give me books, or don't give me anything. All right. And there's a nice little flat level. Level 60 cooking. Not too bad, not too bad. Get some GZs in the chat. Let's go. Enough lollygagging. Let's get back to it. And while I was looking at this, I scrolled up to see if there was anything I missed. Oh, yeah. Duh. I missed my own level 500 total level. That was a back-to-back. -back. We set it up earlier, and somehow Spoon still misses it, as per usual. But regardless, 60 cooking, 500 total. The account is starting to progress, guys. Maybe not in the areas we expected, but the account is, is progressing. We're doing all right. All right, so I've been doing this grind for, I don't know, a good while. I'll just say a good while because I don't actually know how long. It, it's been at least 30 minutes, I would think, uh, in total. And I've been a little bit slightly inefficient because I'm editing episode six currently. And this is a little bit more click intensive, actually. You have to every two you have to cook again so it's a little bit annoying i've been slightly inefficient but even then i'm getting 19.2 k xp per hour which i'll be honest doesn't sound like a lot i'm over the moon okay that's two maybe two and a half times what i was getting fletching just a couple of minutes ago a couple of hours ago rather i am very happy with nearly 20k xp per hour these levels are going by much faster than the fletching were I'll be it. I do have to go two for levels further. I have to get to 67 as opposed to the 65 for fletching. However, it's not that big of a deal how long it t lasts because, I mean, I haven't got a single random yet to put into crafting. So it's looking like we're going to have to do a lot of houses after this season. Uh, probably a couple thousand if I had to guess, or at least a thousand. So we're getting keys. And as long as we keep getting keys while I'm doing this, 
I don't care how long it takes because we're going to need the keys anyways. Without further ado, let's just keep cooking, keep grinding, and yeah, finish this. I'm not going to get much further tonight because it's already 9.30. I'll probably get maybe one more level, two more levels, something like that. And then we'll end up shutting it down for the day. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I have no idea how long this random was there. It looks like it was like 45 seconds. I was pushing the limit. I'm sitting here editing episode six, not paying attention. I'm just messing with audio levels, not completely paying attention at all. And then I just look over my screen, just just glance at one of my monitors, and I just see the exam random. Woo! I would have been very, very mad, guys. I would have been extremely mad if I could not get this random and we left the XP on the floor. All right. And of course, uh, I see no reason not to just throw it right in. So uh, that is 225 XP to crafting, of course. And we are 41 XP away. If we get another book, that'd be really good because it'll push us probably through most of 16 and maybe one lamp away but regardless we're one lamp away from 15 uh from 16 excuse me uh or a book so in a very 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 good position i think we're somewhere around 1700 xp away from 20 uh so rough math that's a lot of of bone statutes something in the order of 350 or something uh, do the exact math but 350, 360 something, whatever, bone statutes. So any one of these that we can do to whittle down that number is greatly appreciated. Regardless though, I'll be honest, we've made way more progress on this crafting grind than I expected we'd make. Even starting this grind, like I feel like we've just gotten a lot of randoms. We've gotten extremely lucky with randoms during that fletching grind. Like I think there was a couple points there where I had like eight randoms and two of them would have been, or uh, four of them rather, would have been books and lamps combinations. So we've been getting extremely lucky and hopefully the luck continues. And hopefully, I mean, if we're super, super lucky, hopefully we finish all of it by lamping as opposed to actually doing any more thieving. But uh, I actually enjoyed the thieving grind. So if we go back to doing some houses, I'm kind of in withdrawal, so I wouldn't mind it. But let's get cooking, finish up this editing of the video, and actually pay attention in the next 56 minutes and hopefully get another random. All right, so I missed it. I was just cycling through. I mean, you only get like two, so every time I just instantly go for it. But I'm going to miss all of these. But that's 61 cooking. All right, let's see. Do we get a random? Four seconds. One second. Never lucky. Never lucky. Good morning, good morning. A cheeky little level 62 cooking. I am completely oblivious, guys. That is the first one mil cash stack. 163, there's 461 coins, pardon me, over. That's pretty crazy, I'm not gonna lie. All right, I just missed it, but that was 63 cooking. I think we now stop burning. Okay, I took a look. It's tuna. We no longer burn tuna. Okie dokie, there is 64 cooking. We are three levels away from the end of the chunk in cooking grind. And then we'll get back to thieving crafting. All right, got a little sidetrack. So this thing has been sitting on my screen actually for a couple of seconds now, but that is 65 cooking. We are two levels away. So I banked some stuff during the weekend playing on mobile. Just banked a bunch of food, buying it and dump it off, but going through it right now, but that's 66 cooking. All right, well, here we are, back to the old houses as we once were. Uh, we will be here for a while. We have 18, 16 XP to get. Uh, puts us somewhere around 350-ish bone statutes, 363 to be exact, or 364, somewhere in that ballpark. So we'll be here a while. I'll update you guys on every level, obviously. This will be probably a week or something, or two weeks or something. And that's 87 thieving. All right, we were just talking about randoms. And I just said the worst part about all this lack of randoms in the events. Literally, he says, speak of the devil, because Genie showed up literally right outside the house. When I came through the window, he popped right away. Super clutch. I'm going to hold on to it, though. We are not terribly far away from 16. I'm going to hit 16 first and then uh, throw it on there. Actually, I might even just hold it longer. Who knows? Because realistically, like the later and later we use it, the more benefit it gives us. So I might just hold on to it until a lamp is what would be our last uh, XP. It's going to, of course, take up uh, inventory space, but like I don't really need inventory space for this. If I stop at a bank once or twice early, it's not really a big deal. So uh, we're going to hold on to lamps and uh, for a while. We'll use books, though, uh, anytime a book comes around. And we'll efficiently use um, statues before we use books and those types of things. But books, obviously, because you can't stack books, but lamps, we can 
can stack a buttload of those. So we'll hold on to it for a while and use it towards the end of this grind. All right. Classic spoon just missed it. Trying to conserve some run energy, but that is 16 crafting. We just got it through some of the bone statutes. So we'll keep going. Okay. Guys, we just hit, but we just got a dunce random. We're 65 XP away. It's 13 lamps uh, or 13 bones. Mm. I don't know if I want to use it or not, guys. So I don't, I don't know. Holy sh guys okay i didn't notice it and this whole fucking, the chat's blown up so i just saw all this and i was like what's going on and then i saw rocky on the floor it's like oh is that mine right click yeah it's fucking mine we got fucking rocky boys we got fucking rocky holy shit 4.3 mil finally got him uh let's fucking go let's fucking go guys i'm not gonna lie Rocky's not leaving my side until the end of this chunk. At least until the end of this chunk. Ah, uh, this man is sitting in this inventory spot from now until I finish this thieving for sure. He's my homie. We're homies now. Rocky's one of us. All right, you guys know the routine. I'm doing houses. Houses take priority. That was 88 thieving. Coming on in. Also, Mega Chad, the winner of our bet, has decided to keep me some company for a little bit, and I appreciate it. If anyone wants to come by, I float around worlds. You can just add me and uh see where i am and that kind of goes for every chunk no matter what i'm doing stop on by just two dudes chilling with their rocky stealing from a house then to see here i i don't know if i should be happy or sad about these anymore 89 thieving we're not getting very many so we're, right now we're bouncing back and forth between just getting keys and then anytime this house comes available we'll just do it uh but i just don't have enough keys currently so yeah we need more keys uh i'm thinking to go to 500 and then we'll go back to doing the houses solely um but the update is 333 oh that's right you guys didn't see this um I think I just had a brain fart or something. Last night I did a little bit of this on mobile and got enough statutes where it would, you know, using the book would give me the full level. And I just instinctively used the book uh, more so because I wanted the chance to get dunce randoms again uh, for more books rather. So I used it last night on mobile and I did not screenshot, of course, because I'm stupid. So we are 17 crafting. We are 333 XP away from 18. We are holding on to one lamp currently. So we're basically halfway through 17, if you want to think of it that way. And uh, yeah, we're just going to keep going and get some keys. And then I'll catch you guys up if we get anything good. All right. So I'm really trying to minimize the amount of time that I have to sit in that house or in any house rather and, and pickpocket for the bone statutes. I think this is going to be my new plan if I'm overdue on a random event. I'm going to come here and pickpocket for more keys. If I get a random event and I'm in the hour cooldown where I can't get a random event, I'm going to start world hopping for the gems for sapphires. I'll start world hopping and throw them in the bank. And then when that hour is done, I'll come back here and get more keys. And I'm going to pretty much do this until somewhere around 500 keys. I feel like that's a good number. I think if we're going based on like only needing bone statutes, I need 250 ish or 230 ish something bones left uh, at my current rate. That's I was getting like four, four keys is one. So that's like almost 700 keys. So if I do 500 keys, that should give me a good amount of like leeway where I'll be able to try to get some random events while I do it, but also not go too overboard on keys and, and stay here longer than I have to. But I need to do the world hopping anyways, and it makes the most sense to do the world hopping when I can't get uh, randoms anyways. One thing I don't know, and, and maybe there's somebody already down in the comment yelling at me, but I don't know when you world hop if your eligibility continues to count but your actual five minute, uh, you know, next cycle doesn't count. So I'm going to check it, right? I'll check. Obviously, if, if the counter is not counting down, then I'm not going to do it because the whole point of this is to do something else that I need to do and allow the timer to still continue to, t uh, to tick. And if it won't tick, then, then we won't do it. We'll just kind of do what I'm doing, been doing. All right, so I'm not doing this the most efficiently possible. Mostly because I just didn't put away everything else. And to be frank, I don't really care to put everything else away. I'm just going to leave these couple items on me. It's not a big deal. But as you can see, the timer is going down. So I will continue 
and do this. It obviously stops whenever you're in that period between log off and log on. But once you're back in, it starts going again. And it takes me a while to run back and forth anyways. So I might as well do this and let the timer kick down. All right, so it doesn't matter, but just for the record, that is the uncut diamond that we needed for the chunk out of the gem stall. We didn't need it because we already had an uncut diamond, so it doesn't, we don't need to get another one. There it is. We got it. This is like the fourth or fifth inventory or something like that. I tell you what, it is amazing when you're doing something and hoping an outcome and then you actually get it. So I think we only need like 11 or 12 minutes over the estimated, um, but we got the random we wanted. This is another lamp. So this will be the second lamp we have. This will be able to give us all the way to 18, I think, if not really close. But of course, we'll hold on to it uh, and wait until we get more and or get closer through bones. All right. So there's our second, uh, second lamp. We'll hold on to this for a while. All right. I figured I might get some flack about the last mime random about how I have a mask and no one could see it. Well, here you go. Here's me doing the next mime random. All right, and there's the reward. We got the gloves and the pants. That puts us one step closer. We are boots and chest away from turning the mime random into yet another lamp random, which would be amazing. We banked the XP required for 43 crafting. So now we're going to sit here and bounce between doing houses and getting keys. So I'm just doing this real quick just to reset the delay timer, like the slowdown timer or whatever. But anytime we are on cooldown for a random, like we can't even get one, right? Which is an hour after getting a random, we're going to sit here and do houses because it doesn't matter then anyways. And then anytime outside of that, when we're actually overdue for a random, we'll go and get keys. So that's going to be the plan moving forward. And there it is. That was 90 thieving, guys. 90 thieving. And that's 91 thieving. Not too bad. Got five more bones to use. We're getting closer to 18. We've got a little ways to go, but um, I don't know. we got a couple more days. All right, so we just finished a mime random, and we got the glass box. All right, guys. We just got a mystery random. That's our random for the hour. Ask the CC, hey, channel some energy. I need something good from this box. Let's see. Let's see what we get. We're hoping for another lamp, to be honest. And if it's not a lamp, we're hoping for a myth sim. If we get a myth sim, that would make the curved bone grind much better if we can't get the Addy. So let's see. I like it. Running out of run energy. I'm trying to get the last house in before the hour timer goes up but if i scroll up a tiny bit somewhere here it is we got 18 crafting from some of the statutes that we've gotten so we have two levels to go all right well 92 thieving still here not a single lamp left uh or not a single lamp additional guys guys it's not looking good it's not looking good oh boy oh let's go we got a third lamp. We got it from a genie. Reward one lamp. Let's go. So excited. So I'm sitting here not really paying full attention. Just kind of going through houses right now for this hour long portion. And I looked over and I got a diamond ring. This is the first and uh, the first time I've gotten the diamond ring and the last of any jewelry that we technically could get from these houses. So I consider that a milestone. Uh... For the record, this is a 1 in 1,250. All right, well, just got our random. It was a strange fruit. All right, well, there's an update I was not paying attention to. 102,000 valuables. That's a white stack of valuables I was not paying attention. Obviously, that happened many, 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 many houses ago, but still cool to have. Um, update is... 268 XP until the next level, but we only need 205 until we can start using our three lamps. Oh, guys, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Oh my gosh, it's happening. Guys, I, I, I need to do some math. But I'm stunned. I'm stunned that we got a lamp when I actually needed a lamp. It never happens. Uh, I need to do some math. Top of my head, I'm saying we're one away. Maybe one bone statute away. Maybe I'll update you guys in a minute. All right. I did the math and I was right. We're one bone statute away from finishing this chunk or at least having the means to finish this chunk. Oh boy. 
it's uh feels pretty surreal i'm not gonna lie it feels uh feels like i was never actually gonna leave here when i first started this grind and understanding what the grind really entailed and it's been three weeks i think almost three weeks to the day of a lot of hours a lot of minimal sleep nights and we're gonna do it we're gonna finish it hope hopefully in this house right here how how much of a storybook ending would it be that i get the last bone statue in the same house that i got rocky in huh and the dream's dead hey <laughs> there it is this is our ticket these are our ticket out of this chunk <laughs> of course of course i need one and i can't ever get it until i get two I'm going to get 93. I'll see you guys in a couple houses, like two or three. And this should be the last couple of pickpockets until 93 thieving. This will be the last thieving level we get for a very, very long time, I assume. I think the only reason I'd ever come back is probably for more coins. But as you could tell, I mean, we've got like seven mil or something. All right, let's start using these lamps. And this should be level 19. I swear if my math's wrong, I'm going to cry. And this should be level 20 crafting. We freaking made it. Oh, we made it. All right. Let's get to work. Cutting some sapphires. Oh, this XP is... Oh, my gosh. This XP is insane. Oh, my... Guys, look at it come in. It's flooding. It's flooding in, guys. Guys, this is going to go so fast. Uh, there's level 21 crafting. And there's 22 crafting. And 23 crafting. 24 crafting. And here comes 25 crafting. And there's 26 crafting. 27 crafting coming in. A whopping 28 crafting. Right at the end of that inventory. That was nice. 29 crafting. The even 30 crafting. I am very much enjoying that Rocky's hanging out with us. But there's 31 crafting. 32 crafting coming in. The wild 33 crafting coming in. All right. 34 crafting. 35 crafting all right there's 36 crafting we've got a couple more levels to go guys we're getting through this pretty quick though so it won't, won't take too long 37 crafting all right and here's 38 crafting leather coifs yeah that's not ever gonna happen level 39 oh boy all right the last round number for the chunk in general nice level 40 there's level 41 two to go guys two to go there's the answer to the universe and everything level 42 bada boom bang bada bing bang boom there it is 43 crafting let's go let's freaking go i'm gonna set up my inventory for later today we're gonna run through all the tasks that we need to complete for the chunk including cutting this uh sorry chiseling this then cutting this into bolt tips we'll get an oak log and a tinder box and we'll grab two more oak logs for the shield I will triple check, but I'm pretty sure this is everything we need to finish the chunk because we already stole from the gem stall and we already would cut plenty of oak logs. How do I miss one of the most obvious ones? Uh, let's quickly grab some t raw tuna. Whoa, look it. We've done it. It's incredible. We did 67 cooking. All right, I'm going to grab everything and get it ready for a chunk rolling stream in a little bit. And then I'm going to start setting that up and figuring out how to make it work. All right, let's roll this chunk. This is just some footage from our chunk rolling stream. Enjoy. Second one is crafting. Oh my gosh, this one took forever, guys. Holy crap, this one took forever. Today, I woke up today and started to stream this, or uh, started to play this at like, I don't know, 7 a.m. I started AFKing it a little bit. And I needed 64 statutes to make this happen. And I'm not going to lie, I did not think it was going to happen. I didn't think I was going to be able to get 64 in a single day before the 5.30 stream that we wanted to hit but we did get it and we got it through a random uh, at the very end so boy we got lucky but there it is this is the cut diamond freaking huge all right next one on the list is an oak shield we have to equip it oak shield equipped boom fire making got to make a quick fire with an oak log we got that done and then the last one which was probably one of the more annoying ones which is Fletch a Diamond into Bolt Tips. Is it just another chisel? It is a chisel again. I never knew that. There is our Diamond Bolt Tips. Good to go. That is the full chunk list. All set, all done. Okay, let's do it. Cooking. We made the tuna and corn. Check it off. We cut a diamond. We wielded the oak shield. We burned some oak logs. And then we cut that cut diamond back into Bolt Tips. Finished it. 
Only other one here is the magic abyss item, which is the oak shield. We did that already. That is 18 out of 18, guys. 18 out of 18, we did it. We finished the bazaar, the first chunk account to really finish the bazaar through the most annoying, tedious grind that is bone statutes. I should have kept, ah, I should have kept a bone statute just to, to fletch it right here or to craft it and chisel it right here for the, this moment. But, ah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not a big deal. We did it anyways. All right. I think we'll get into it. Let's do it, right? We'll go through these uh, in number order, even though it's going to be annoying for my OCD and some other people because it's not <laughs> numbered in a good circle, but that's okay. All right, chunk one. Chunk one here is personally my favorite. That's why I put the crown on it. It's the one that I want. It's the one that I want the most. The reason for it is the sword shop. There's a sword shop in here. There's Addy Scimitar uh addy plate body and addy plate legs all of which will help us immensely in some of these other grinds and some other chunks that we'll get to the only one that here that'll take a little bit is uh just a bronze med helm from a thief if we look at the thief it's uh, one in 64. so it's it's not even that bad we if we roll this we will go up there kill everything like explore everything uh kill the thief until we get the um med helm that we need which will be a best in slot helmet and then we will reroll again so we won't cut it short there option two now this is a hot debate right this one has a farming patch it's actually right next to us in game right it's got a farming patch technically that means i need 85 farming for was it torstal i think looking yeah 85 farming for a torstal that's because we have from a master farmer thieving it um however Go back to episode one if you need to, but, or actually episode zero, but farming's passive for me. I'm not going to let the time gate hold the chunk back. It's, it's something that I would be able to do fairly quickly if there was no time associated with it. So, uh, it will be passive. However, it will be a priority, a very high priority, actually the number one priority because it'll be the chunk that we've unlocked, right? That it, it does introduce other grinds. Okay, so once I get to 31 farming, it will unlock strawberry, which I have strawberry seeds. I will then have to make a summer pie, which is 90, or at least a partial summer pie, which is 95 cooking. So while it seems like it's a dead chunk, it only needs a tuna potato, which is one more level. I have 67 already. It's one more level, and we already have the banked tuna we need to cook uh, to get to the that 68. It looks like a dead one on the surface, but really it only gives us like two days maybe three days till we get gated by 95 cooking so it's going to be very quick so this one could be we could be here for a while we just don't know it all right this one's free super quick super easy it is nice however it is free but it's nice because there is jeroboas that are 39 uh hunter so that would help us in the long run i would love that love that chunk four also free for now it's got a fishing shop so we would have access to feathers uh, for fletching as well as like making arrows and stuff late game. It also has shark spot and a lobster spot. However, it doesn't have a big uh, fishing net. The actual coast has a big fishing net. So uh, can't actually train fishing until we either get Bob random or we unlock another chunk like number six. Five, also a freebie. Nothing here. However, it does unlock the Quetzal and the start of a quest. So I'm not sure why the, the start of the quest isn't showing up, but we'll obviously start the quest. The Quetzal itself, I'm not going to let us travel yet. And I don't want to get off of this island quite yet. This is new content. I've only explored four chunks of the, what, 30 that are here or something. So I want to explore a bit more. So I, it will be a way we can get off this island, but it won't be used right away. Six is a little bit longer one. So there's two, two of this eight we can't complete in today's stream. Okay. This is the first one of it, which is a U shield, which is 72 fletching and burning a U log, which is 60 wood uh, fire making. Sorry. Both of those would take a couple days each, probably. Um, so we're looking probably almost like a week, depending on how often I can get on here to be able to finish this chunk. Also, let's not get close to this nuclear symbol, huh? What do you think, guys? I know extreme... Uh, Extreme gnome, and I'm sure Mark RS, and I'm sure Agile Tom want me to get to that chunk, but uh, politely, the Coliseum can fuck off. 
until I at least have some kind of armor to help me out. Ideally, until we get way over here and can get into Camp Jerum and do the uh, multiple boss bosses that are in there known as the Perilous Moons. So that's that one. Seven is the other one. Seven is the other one that we can't get right away. We won't be able to finish in today's chunk. This is the one I want probably the least immediately. However, if we roll the sword shop, I'm okay with getting seven anytime. I don't care. This is Curved Bone. It's a one in 5,000 drop, I think it is, from Hill Giants. So it will take a little while to get. Some people go very dry, I think. All right, and then Chuck 8, uh, another easy one. It's the same as one in the sense that we'll be able to finish it today. However, there is a air quote grind, or at least a task to do, which is a bronze med helmet. It's a one in 64 as well. That's not too bad. You guys are too nice to me. You guys are also really for one. I appreciate it. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Fuck! God damn it. God damn it. Oh. God damn it, dude. Oh, that's the worst. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for all the continued support as we rapidly approach a thousand subs. If you haven't already, please do like, comment, and subscribe. It does look like about 80% of my viewers still aren't subbed to the channel. With that being said, I've wasted enough of your time today. Let's get into the bond giveaways. All right, let's do the next bond giveaway. This is the comments of episode seven. And the winner is Kyle. Thanks for watching, Kyle. I appreciate it. Edge me essentially is, is his RSN. We'll send him uh, a message in game. We'll see if he's online. All right, so I added Edge me. He did not reply, unfortunately. So I'll try to track him down throughout the week, see if we can get him this bond. As far as previous winners, you'll see them in just a second. And then for future winners, right, this is going to be the last bond giveaway for the foreseeable future. I don't want to beat a dead horse with this. I appreciate all of you, your continued support. Please don't move away from these videos, even though we're not giving away bonds anymore. But I uh, greatly appreciate all the in in uh, engagement that you guys have had. And thanks for watching. Seriously. All right. As per usual, dark and gloomy in, in Lumbridge. It's not where I belong, but it is where I am. This is Task Force, winner of the bond. So congratulations, Task Force, on your bond. And I hope that you uh, stick around, enjoy the videos, and continue to watch. Appreciate it. If you'd like to be uh, a winner like Task Force and enjoy a bond, uh, make sure you first like, subscribe, but also obviously comment your RSN as usual. All right, I can't help it. He watched the video again, messaged me privately, said, oh my gosh, can't believe I missed it. Honestly, no worries. I appreciate you watching the content. Um, enjoy your bond. And uh, yeah, thanks for not only watching the first episode and, and commenting, but obviously following the series. It's That's crazy. So I really do appreciate it. And uh, good luck out there. Best of luck. In the lands of Gilinor, there lies a mystic place. Follow more where heroes roam with courage and grace. Sportus and adventurer with dreams so grand and vast He sets out on a journey to conquer till the very last One step at a time through the forests and the plains Sportus seeks his glory with resilience in his veins with sword in hand, he battles all that stands in his way. Conquering Baltimore will surely seize the day. Oh, Sportis, the conqueror of Baltimore's embrace. Your spirit shines so brightly through each challenge you face. With every step you take, you leave your mark behind. Conquering the continent, one chunk at a time.